What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Film Addiction. Today we're going to be talking about some movies that I have recently watched. First time watches for me over the past month or so. I am going to try to get into a pace where it's one every month, where it's what I watched that month or previous month, um, instead of just kind of random. But today we're going to go over some movies. Um, start off with some recommendations that I got from people. Um, but besides that, the rest of it's just random, what I've seen. Obviously, I watched a lot more than this, but this is what I've seen. So, we're going to jump right into it. First off, this got recommended by several, several people. And that is Becky. Um, awesome movie. Um, this girl, I guess her name is Lulu Wilson. It's also got Kevin James in it. She is awesome. She is badass. Um, not to ruin or anything because I don't, I don't like doing spoilers but they kind of it's like a home invasion type situation and she whoops some ass but very awesome movie I highly recommend it I'm looking forward to the sequel I believe I gave this one four and a half stars um, this, was, this was great next off this got recommended by uh, watch Johnny watching and I've heard it around but he was like I highly recommend this go check it out and that is The Changeling um, great movie not to spoil anything it's a ghost haunted house uh, movie very good uh, this is probably in the yeah, 1980 exactly let's say 80s 1980 so obviously we've got a lot of movies like this since then uh, I'm sure there's a lot scarier back then but i still thought it was great uh, i gave it four stars i believe um only i didn't like about it is not this point there's a character that kind of got his at the end and i was like didn't really see why he had to but yeah and you probably think it's one person that's not who i'm thinking about so it's not a spoiler but yeah good movie thank you johnny for that Another one that I had posted when I picked it up from the Vestron video collection was Slaughter High and someone in the comments said that I need to watch this. So I watched this and this was 10 times better than I thought it was going to be. This is from 1986 and the kid gets picked on situation in school and then they come back for a uh, reunion. And this had some of the best kills that I've seen. Some of the most creative kills, in my opinion. And uh, I love this movie. I gave it four stars, I believe. Yeah. I really enjoy this one. Highly recommend it if you like uh, cheesy horror movies. But it's not as cheesy as some of them. But this was really good. Another one I got recommended in a live stream that I watched and sounded really interesting was the final cut so there's like this part in their brain that gets put in there and records their whole life like when they're born and records their whole life and then his uh job robin williams is to when you go do the uh oh man phone break the funeral then he shows a video all the clips and he does interviews with the family saying what do you want in there what do you want so obviously there's good and bad but uh fantastic movie highly recommend um i gave it four at the time but i'm kind of thinking this is more of a four and a half this was fantastic uh, great movie ricochet ricochet because when i picked this up i said ryochet it's ricochet with denzel washington I gave this uh, four and a half stars. Fantastic movie. Love Denzel Washington. I liked how he's just kind of like a regular old cop and then he busts a guy and then becomes kind of famous and they're wanting to be governor. And then the guy, not, you know, this doesn't spoil anything, the guy breaks out and kind of starts ruining his life. And it was just kind of seeing him go from the top to the bottom and seeing how people, if they believe him. It was really, really damn good movie. I highly recommend this one. And then another one is Eraser with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm trying to catch up on a lot of these older movies that I haven't seen. Which I don't think this one's that old. 96, I believe. 
but Arnold Schwarzenegger, great, you know, awesome action movie. I love the scene. I think this is the same movie where he fights the alligator. I watched a lot of Arnold movies recently, but he like fights an alligator in this movie. And that part was cool, but he's like uh, protecting this woman kind of situation. And then one from uh, Adam the Movie Hunter, The Boiler Room. Uh, I really enjoy this. I think I gave it like three and a half stars. Um, it's kind of like Wall Street kind of. They're the guys going in there if it's legal or not. But it's it's really good. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I thought they did great. Vin Diesel, you know, plays a whole different part in this. And I thought he did a little bit that he's in this movie. I thought Vin Diesel was cool. I enjoyed him in that. Another one that gets popped around on the internet is In the Cut. I'm trying to run through these because I've got a lot to go through. It's In the Cut with Meg Ryan and Mark Ruffalo. Um, eh, it was okay. The So it's serial killer type situation. They're killing women. And she, you know, it's all about who she thinks it is and stuff like that. It's kind of a weird movie, but... I knew who it was at the beginning of the movie and then I completely forgot about the character because the character's not in the movie that whole lot and then at the very end I'm like, damn it, I started to think there was another person. But I guess it did get on that part but the ending wasn't all that. I was just like, when it ended, I was like, that's it. That's all we get. But it was all right. It was a decent watch. I gave it three stars, I believe. Maybe it's a two and a half, but I, I gave it a three at the time. Um... Another one is The Possessor, which I watched because I watched the next film that I'm going to talk about. I gave this three and a half. At the time, I'm kind of thinking this is maybe more of a four. Um, they kind of take over, like with this mind control, mind machine they have, they take over a body, they take out high profile targets. Um, but it starts messing with the woman's mind and stuff. Really good movie. But it doesn't ruin anything. The ending is kind of like, holy crap. But I highly recommend this one. This one's really good. But since that one was in there, it's because I bought the, that after watching this. Blah, 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 blah. And that is Infinity Pool. Um, a lot of, some similarities with the two movies. Um, the director has his own style and it's very interesting. But not for everybody. This one, they they're, they go to travel to another place. I'm not sure where it is. But um, in this place, if you do something bad, break the law, like murder someone, things like that, they kind of give you an option to double your body for a lot of money. And then they kill your double, which is just it's like exactly like you. And then that doesn't really ruin the movie. Kind of not really it's a weird movie doesn't really you know what to think in this one but it's trippy it's a trippy movie it's definitely not for everybody then i watched this is a newer film shazam fury of the gods i was very excited for this one because of the first one i really enjoyed this one was it was okay uh don't remember what i gave it three and a half maybe I didn't think it was as good as the first. Damn, good looking movie. I just didn't laugh as much as I laughed at the first one. Um, it was okay. Great addition though. It's a fantastic addition. It opens it up, as you can see in that picture right there. So very cool stuff. Another one I got in a horror pack is Emil Emily, about a babysitter. Um, I'm not going to say much more than that, but it's a babysitter, and obviously she's not the greatest babysitter in the world. And there's a lot of twists and turns in the movie, but it's really good. I'd highly recommend this if you like those type of movies. Good horror movie. Vision Quest. Got this for 49 cents at the thrift store. It's like 12 bucks online. We looked it up afterwards because my wife really enjoyed this one. This is really good. Um... I feel like Bob, if he hasn't mentioned this in one of his videos, really enjoy it. It's kind of coming of the age story, and he's a wrestler. 
and obviously he's falling in love with her. It's it's really good. I highly recommend it. 49 cents, that's one of the best 49 cent movies I've ever bought. How about that? Lover's Lane, um, Scream, Wannabe, don't know which one came first or second. I think this came after Scream. It was, it's, you know, dumb horror movie, not that great. The only thing I didn't like about it was the ending was confusing of who the killer was and it wasn't, the reveal was not exciting at all. But it had some decent kills and best part about this movie though is the packaging and the artwork. Frogs with Sam Elliott, a younger Sam Elliott. This, if you like creature features and stuff like that, I really enjoyed it. It's not just about frogs, it's also about snakes and spiders and alligators. And they're like living in this house on a, out in the, I don't know, middle of nowhere. And uh, they kind of just start taking over the whole place and you start wondering, they kind of hint a little bit if it's going on the whole world or if it's just there. But it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Nothing else to say about that one. Raging Bull. First time I've ever seen this. This was good. Uh, wasn't didn't blow me away as much as I thought it was going to. Sorry. Uh, it was definitely good. Robert Nero was awesome, and I thought, uh, what's his name? The other guy. Whatever the other guy's name is, you know what I'm talking about from Home Alone. He was awesome. I thought he did a really damn good job in this movie. This was good. It wasn't as much boxing as I thought there was going to be. And then after this, I'm going to go into some stuff that I don't own physically, but we watched either in theaters or online. And the first, last one I have physically is Cruel Intentions. I uh, loved Reese Witherspoon in this. Um, this was okay. I think the wife liked it more than I did. Um, I think it's funny I watch, you know, the movie, 9 or 10 movie. I've seen that movie so many times, and I've never seen this. When I saw certain scenes, I was like, that's where they're making fun of. So, it was okay. So, and I'll try to get the picture if I can. I watched Missing. Um, this kind of this, the same person that did Searching. It was really good. Uh, the girl's mom goes missing and it's all the it's one of those films it's all on the phone and computer the whole film so it's all through the camera so that was really good we enjoyed that i gave that like four and a half stars i was surprised it was just kind of like a last minute watch we didn't know what to watch so we put that in really damn good saw fast x the newest fast furious movie i honestly did not care for it I'm kind of done with these movies. Michelle Rodriguez was not in it very much, and she was probably the best part of the movie. It was just dumb fun, I guess. I just, that's what they are now. Not that great. I saw The Mother with uh, Jennifer Lopez on Netflix. That, I gave it a four at the time. I'm thinking it's more of a three and a half. But that was really good. She is a badass in that movie. She's awesome. Um, I saw Last Scene Alive with Gerard Butler where him and his wife, he's dropping his wife off because they're having marital issues. They stop at a gas station. He gets gas. She goes in. He doesn't see her come out. And then the whole movie's him investigating and finding the people that did it. It was okay. I gave it a two and a half, but I'm thinking it's more of a three. It was, it was decent. I enjoyed it. Um, Hell House LLC, if anyone's ever seen that, I watched that. They say it's the scariest movie, it terrifies people, and I was bored. It's, they make a uh, haunted house, and obviously there's stuff that happened in there a long time ago. It just wasn't very good. I watched the new Transformers movie, Rise of the Beast. It was awesome. I loved it. Um, if you like Bumblebee, it's more on that. Soundtrack's great, action's great. I thought the characters were great. I had a little end credit scene where I'm kind of excited to see what they do. And I thought it was great. I thought everybody did a good job. Fun movie, had a blast with it. 
probably one of the better movies this year when it comes to just enjoying yourself at the theater. And then I saw Winnie the Pooh. And uh, surprised the hell out of me. It is just... It, the opening scene was awesome. Some of the kills were really good. A lot of people saying the acting wasn't fantastic in this movie. But I guess I've just seen some really bad movies. Like Killer Goats and... It gets talked about a lot on here and things like that. The acting wasn't bad. And I would like a sequel because I want to see Tigger. Tigger was not in there. I want to see Tigger. So I gave Winnie the Pooh four stars, guys. And I did order it. Um, I don't know when it'll arrive because it's not here in America. But uh, if you like horror movies, check out Winnie the Pooh. And then last but not least, I watched Beautiful Disaster. Um, with my wife, it's a book, or it's a movie based off of a book series, and it had uh, the guy from Zach and Cody's Sweet Life, and not knowing what it was about, it's kind of like a Fifty Shades of Grey type situation, I guess. It was fun. I gave it three stars. We had a good time. I was surprised. I didn't know anything about it. I was like, this is stupid. Put it on. And then I found myself interested. Didn't look at my phone the whole time. Kind of enjoyed myself. So, yeah, that's what I've seen. Those are, I've seen a lot more than that. Those are my first time watches. If you enjoyed this series, please let me know. Um, I would like to know if y'all are actually interested in these videos. And if you've stuck to the end, let me know if you've seen them. And which ones have you seen? And what would you rate those movies? And I enjoy talking about movies. I know a lot of times I just do packages and unboxings and i'm trying to do a little less of that and mix it up and do some other stuff and probably slow down on the buying a little bit so i can give back to the community because you know i don't i enjoy getting gifts and stuff and it's awesome i love it but at the same time i feel bad if i don't return the favor i don't it's not you know that's not who i am i like to give i like to see people get stuff but that's why i like watching YouTube, that's why I watch. I spend so much time on YouTube, and I like seeing what people get and their thoughts. And that's why I enjoy doing this little series here. So, if you're watching, guys, um, I do have a question because I might just make a separate video for it. But I'm thinking about doing a QA video. We are over 100 subscribers, and I'm not expecting a ton of questions, but would you be interested in me doing a QA? So if I could get a couple of people to let me know if that be something. And if they do say yes, then I'll make a video Q&A announcement where everybody can leave their questions. So yeah, guys, thank you. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up if you want to. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye.